Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Nano, which is a thin and light laptop that, as you can see, is running Windows 10 software. Uh, it has a Core i5 1130G7 processor. This configuration has 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. And I just wanted to show you in this video that in addition to running Windows 10 and possibly Windows 11, it should probably qualify for an upgrade when that's available, you can install different operating systems. So I've got Ubuntu 20.04 on a USB flash drive here. And let's go ahead and restart the system. And I'll show you that by pressing the F12 button during startup, we should be able to get to a boot settings menu that would allow us to run that. Um, First, we need to wait for it to restart. And actually, when we get to the boot screen, before we do that, I'm gonna show you just a few other quick options. So I just hit enter, and then from here, I'm gonna hit F1. And this is gonna take us to the UEFI, uh, or setup utility. And from here, you can see that we can actually use the keyboard and the mouse or the track point system. And I can do things like choose whether or not to charge in battery mode, I can go to the keyboard and mouse settings and enable the trackpad or the uh, track point. So if I don't want to use this and only want to use this, I can do that. Um, I can also switch the function and control key, which is something that I did do, so that this acts as control and this acts as function. So those are some of your options that you can do here. And then, of course, you can go into your boot menus and you can make sure to enable the F12 which is what we're going to use next. So let's go ahead and exit. And this time we're going to go ahead and hit F12 at start. So let's do that. Hit enter, F12, boot menu. And we want to choose boot from USB. So we've got Ubuntu. Now, for more notes on general performance of this particular computer, you can check out lilliputing.com. We also have a video review of the laptop that more focuses on Windows performance. Overall, it uh, it offers pretty strong performance. It's the Core i5 1130G7 processor. It's available with up to a Core i7 1180G7 processor. It's a lower power alternative to um, things like the 1135G7 chip or the 1185G7 chip that Intel offers in its Tiger Lake family. But general purpose performance is pretty good. And uh, the upshot is that it doesn't generate as much heat and allows for this very sort of thin and light design. Uh, as you probably heard, the speakers are really pretty loud. Uh, yeah, we don't wanna go through the installation. We just wanna use Ubuntu here. Um, and I'll show you that, well, once the screen is back, uh, basic keyboard shortcuts seem to work just fine. So we've got volume, brightness, mute. Should be able to connect to the internet. And the web surfing here. Do a little bit of video playback. Fred Smith here told us the B&H photo helped change his life. Fred, tell us your story. I was a fitness instructor in Atlanta and I transferred to New York, March 13, 2020. Hi, this is Brad Linder with really great, uh, but it's better than not having a camera at all. So in a fairly well lit. So pretty much everything works the way you would expect it to. Uh, we were just talking about cameras. So I'll show you that that is not the camera application I was looking for. This is, I'll use cheese. Uh, the camera works in Ubuntu. So, um, and you can see the light works and the privacy shutter works, of course, because that's physical. Um, so pretty much everything works the way that you would expect it to. Wireless works, um, audio video works, keyboard shortcuts work. I can still control the keyboard backlight and you can even see 
that we can indicate or on screen when that happens. And I guess the last thing I should do is probably look at the display settings. And out of the box here, you can see we seem to be set at 200%, but I can switch it to 100% scaling and make everything a little bit sharper. Or I can enable fractional scaling and do what I had with Windows, which is 125% scaling. And that makes everything just a little bit easier to read, but still allows you to fit more content on the screen. So that is a look at Ubuntu 20.04 running um, on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Nano, a thin and light laptop from Lenovo. It sells for about $1,040 and up. That's experience with Ubuntu, so I have not tested, I haven't installed it to local storage, so I haven't tested battery life and resume from sleep and all of those things. But it's, uh, it's enough to let us know that the out-of-the-box experience is pretty good, which is unsurprising because Lenovo does actually offer uh, Ubuntu and Fedora uh, operating systems as an alternative to Windows on some other ThinkPad models. I don't think you can buy this pre-configured with Ubuntu, but you can install it and run it reasonably well.